Below the darkest depths of the ocean, there are creatures evolving exceedingly into freakish giants. These are the creatures that are abnormally big, strange, and downright terrifying. Let's see why, and how huge they can get. Squids. In August 2022, an unusual discovery had left the beachgoers in Cape Town, South Africa in utter shock. With an alien-like appearance, a giant squid measuring around 14 feet was found washed up among the rocks of Scarborough Beach. Although giant squids are elusive deep-sea creatures, dwelling between 980 to 3,280 feet below the surface, and an excellent example of deep-sea gigantism, are rare to spot on the surface. Speaking of which, did you know in 2012, the largest ever squid recorded by scientists was almost 43 feet long, weighing nearly a ton off the coast of Japan? While the exact cause of why these squids washed up is unclear, most of what scientists know comes from the carcasses that floated to the surface. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Greenland Sharks One of the oldest living species of shark, a 200-year-old Greenland shark was caught by Jeremy Wade, a freshwater detective and a biologist, during a bait in Norway. According to Jeremy, it was a 10-foot-long monster weighing up to 700 pounds. The terrific giant particularly likes to dwell at the depths of over 6,562 feet below, where temperature drops to minus two to minus seven degrees Celsius. But how are these giant sharks able to sustain such low temperatures with incredibly longer life expectancy? I guess you'll have to wait to find out. Orfish. Before moving on, in July 2022, a 16-foot-long deep-sea giant, the king of the herrings, was caught by fishermen in the city of Arica, off the coast of Chile. Known to be one of the largest oarfish ever spotted, the fish is rarely seen because it mostly enjoys deep swimming inside the depths of the ocean, except when they are sick or about to give up on life, where they tend to float near the surface of water. Despite their frightening size, giant oarfish are considered as a bad omen in Japan for upcoming tsunamis and earthquakes. Moreover, according to the Japanese, whoever finds an oarfish is going to get doomed with a curse. Sunfish Believed to be the world's heaviest bony fish, this Mola Mola giant was spotted in the Azores Archipelago, Portugal, with a whopping weight of 6,614 pounds. According to researchers, the poor creature had already given up on life before it got caught floating onto the water's surface. The enormous creature was measured around 10.67 feet long, with a height of 11.78 feet. Speaking of their unusual size, sunfish diet is primarily consisting of jellyfish. Oddly enough, jellyfish are considered as nutritionally poor, so why are these species growing faster, heavier, and larger than the rest of the other sea species? Frilled Shark Truly terrifying and extremely prehistoric, on January 23, 2007, the 80 million year old rare species was spotted lurking beneath the waters of Awashima Marine Park in Japan. With multiple rows of trident-shaped teeth and fringe-like fins, the living fossil was measured up to five feet long in size and identified as a female shark. The shark appeared in such poor condition that within hours of showing its precious glimpse, it passed away. However, it is known that frilled sharks are still roaming in the twilight zone of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, 3,281 feet below the water's surface, with a lifespan of around 25 years. Goblin Shark Caught by a Georgia shrimp captain while working about 10 miles off the coast of Key West, Florida in 2014. Fearsome, ugliest, and rarest, the living fossil is thought to be surviving in the ocean since 125 million years ago. They have got an elongated flat snout with highly protruding jaws to opt for a peculiar feeding style. 
The shark tends to widen its jaws in order to catch the prey straight into its mouth. The mysterious shark can grow up to 10 to 13 feet long. However, a 20-foot-long shark was found near the eastern coast of Sri Lanka. But again, how they are reaching to higher lengths is a question that must be answered in the open discussion. Giant-Brained Octopus Considered as the largest octopus species in the world, the giant Pacific octopus inhabits the northern Pacific Ocean off the United States, up to Alaska and around Japan. Interestingly enough, despite having nine brains, one central brain and eight others associated with each of its tentacles, these slithery creatures are extremely smart. Smart enough to outplay most humans on the maths portion at a genius level of above 140. Although they live at a depth of 6,600 feet below the surface, where food scarcity is a major problem, besides a ton of others, the next most bizarre thing noticed about these octopus is that they grow bigger and live longer than any other octopus species. Atola Jellyfish Discovered from the depths of the Midnight Zone in Monterey Bay, Atola jellyfish, better known as Deep Sea Crown Jelly, was first spotted by Mabari researchers in 2006. The jellyfish has never seen the sun before, with its celestial body, and it tends to glow in the darkness of the ocean. The creature emits bright impulses when attacked by a predator and likes to live in the Midnight Zone that is below 13,000 feet from the water surface, where there is no daylight and the pressure is also very high. Red Jellyfish Absolutely fascinating and insanely rare, in November 2021, Ambari researchers captured this giant phantom jellyfish at the depths of 7,200 feet deep in Monterey Bay. The ghostly creature had a dome diameter of around 3.3 feet, with tentacles gracefully reaching up to 33 feet long. We all know jellyfish are composed of 5% solid mass. The rest is just water. But then what's the deal with these creatures getting enormously big while defying all of the brutalities of nature? All right, let me give you guys a hint. As we go down, the ocean pressure rises up in comparison to the atmospheric pressure. Isopods. While evolving drastically fast, a giant isopod was spotted snacking on a fish by a team of scientists across the U.S. southeastern coast. Capable of living without food for years, this huge bug was measured up to 1.47 feet in length, while regular ones can't grow more than the size of a sunflower seed. According to scientists, the creature is identified as Bathanomus giganteus, crawling over the oceanic bed waiting for food which doesn't really make sense, because how can someone starving grow exceptionally big in size? Hold on till the open discussion to find out the truth behind these scavengers. Big Fin Squid With things getting creepier and weirder down the oceanic layers, this rare footage caught in the Gulf of Mexico shows the enigma of the aquatic world, the Big Fin Squid, also known as the Magna Pina Squid, NOAA scientists, while looking for a shipwreck at a depth of 7,920 feet below the water's surface, encounter an alienoid creature with strings floating in the water, which later turned out to be a 21-foot-long squid. Living deeper than any other species of squid in the abyss of the ocean, the mystery squid tends to have eight skinny arms and two tentacles bending like an elbow to capture food as fast as 49.2 feet per second. Blue Whale The largest animal to have ever existed. In 2015, a blue whale was spotted stranded on a beach in the port city of Uquiqua in northern Chile. But thanks to the fishermen and beachgoers, who along with officials managed to unhook and push the creature back into the water. As long as about three school buses while outsizing the dinosaurs, this one was around 66 feet long, weighing around eight friggin' tons. Normally, blue whales like to swim in the twilight zone at the depths of 3,300 feet below, but tend to come to the surface for feeding. But what evolved them into getting extremely humongous in size is yet a mystery to be solved. Sponges 
where the ocean never fails to impress, a sponge the size of a minivan was found in 2015 in Hawaii during a deep sea expedition. Measuring up to 11 by 7 feet and thought to be 2,300 years old, the enormous sponge was found at the depth of 7,000 feet deep in the ocean. And just so you know, the regular ones are not bigger than 0.58 feet in size. Anyhow, according to researchers, the massive sponge, despising being habitat for smaller species, even acts as an important part of the ecosystem as they help filter large volumes of seawater. Tube Worms The hidden paradise under the darkness of the ocean was discovered in 2017 in the Guaymas Basin of the Gulf of California, known as Fiery Riftia tube worms. Reaching up to 10 feet in length, these tube worms are around 1.6 inches thick in diameter, living in the hydrothermal vents, where life almost seems impossible because of boiling hot water oozing out of the vents. It is known that these vents are situated more than a mile at the depths of the ocean. And interestingly enough, these tube worms are born with no mouth, no guts, and no orifice. Which again, is a question mark to how these giants manage to wiggle the ocean floor. Football fish. In May 2021, a rare deep sea fish with teeth resembling tiny shards of glass a football-shaped body, along with a long bioluminescent stalk hanging from the top of its head, washed ashore in California. After an intense session of analysis, the creature was identified as a female football fish, which typically live in depths of 3,000 feet underwater, where light can't penetrate, leaving the fish in utter darkness. However, despite being in infrequent encounters with prey, they can reach up to the lengths of 3.3 feet. Well, there are two factors contributing to this miracle. First is the glowing bulb, called esca, to lure the prey in the dark. Second, well, keep watching to find out. Northern Stargazer On September 22, 2019, a rare encounter with northern stargazers was shot in the Red Sea near Hergata, Egypt. Northern stargazers, better known as sea bugs, are gifted with excellent ability to camouflage themselves in the sand, and they are so good at it that they practically look invisible, buried under the ocean bed. In addition to this, they are covered with poisonous spines on the black dorsal fin and near the gills, as well as needles above the pectoral fins. But this wasn't just it for the fish to keep themselves protected. Hence, they adapted another technique to lure their prey by releasing a worm-like tongue to first provoke the victim and then seize it before attacking. Today's open discussion is a picture of this giant Japanese spider crab crawling deep into the depths of 1,640 feet on the ocean floor. Known to be the largest species of spider crabs, surprisingly, these oceanic giants are measured to be extending up to 12.5 feet from one claw to another, with a whopping weight of 44 pounds. Now, the question is, how is this even possible? Is it some bizarre behavior that these deep sea creatures have adapted to survive in the abyss of the ocean? Well, the answer to this, and all of the above hows and whys, lies in one phenomenon known as deep sea gigantism. See, deep down in the ocean, with lack of sunlight and temperatures falling dramatically down, pressure tends to increase, which further results in increased cell size and longer lifespans of the deep sea creatures, allowing the giants to evolve into enormously big sizes. And since we're talking about sizes, lack of food resources and abundance of oxygen comes to rescue while acting Kleber's law like a pro. Kleber's law says, the bigger you are, the more efficient your metabolism would be. To simply put it though, giant creatures like squids are blessed to have high efficiency in accordance with their slow metabolism. Did you know? A colossal squid only needs 45 calories to burn each day, with around 0.06 pounds of food required daily. Well, with water getting colder, we have another rule known as Bergman's Rule, helping these terrifying giants to survive the cold. According to Bergman's rule, lowering the temperature is what tends to increase the cell size and life expectancy of the deep-sea creature. Strange, right? Well, in case of Bergman's rule, larger animals have smaller surface area to volume ratios than smaller animals. Hence, they radiate less heat, 
thereby keeping themselves warm in colder environments. Which is why Greenland sharks enjoy dwelling at great depths while becoming so huge and tremendously big in size. But in the case of the blue whales, it's the feeding style. With the advent of lunge feeding, where whales come from below the prey and entrap them in their mouth while filtering the water through the baleen. This new way of feeding has provided the blue whales with high levels of energy with respect to their enormous size. According to some studies, it was due to the climatic changes that allowed the whales to binge eat, hence getting transformed into jumbo size. And to support this huge body, here comes the buoyancy, allowing the giant whale to feel light in water. Because if the same whale would be living on land, its organs would have been crushed down by its own weight. But thanks to buoyancy, the weight of the animal is evenly dispersed underwater. Except for sunfish, whose speedy evolution led to the formation of growth hormones and insulin-like growth factor, helping the species to grow larger, faster than ever. For tube worms, it's the process called chemosynthesis, where a symbiotic bacteria inside the tube worm uses hydrogen sulfide spewed from the vents as an energy source for themselves and for the worms. As for fangtooth and football fish, then it's the adaptation of large mouths, which are capable of consuming anything that's going to fit inside their mouths. Goblin sharks, however, are adapted to capturing deep sea prey using their slender teeth edged with blades. Their jaws are loosely slung and highly extendable to stretch their jaws forward and engulf the entire prey into the hollow of their mouths. Moreover, for creatures like jellyfish, pressure does all the magic. Surprisingly, with increasing depths, the pressure tends to increase a thousand times more than that of the atmosphere. There are no air gaps left, which is a plus point for creatures like jellyfish, made 95% of water, and water is incompressible. Therefore, with pressure force increasing about one atmosphere for every 33 feet of water depth, it doesn't contribute to crushing these giants. Let's take an example of blobfish. A blobfish lives 2,000 to 3,000 feet inside the oceanic bed and looks pretty much like a normal fish. Except when the poor creature comes to the surface. With no pressure applied to hold on its soft body and shape, it turns into an ugly looking swelled up blob. Okay, remember how I told you isopods can survive starving for years? This is because when they get to eat, they eat non-stop and store it for the future. And to test this theory, scientists in February 2019 dropped an alligator to the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico at a depth of around 6,600 feet, which only took half of the day for these creepy giants to turn into a skeleton. Well, let's put it aside and talk about oxygen. More oxygen means bigger bodies, because in 1999, scientists claimed that the maximum potential size of a creature is directly proportional to increased levels of oxygen dissolved in deeper water, like the dinosaurs. Some studies revealed the very first species of dinosaurs were smaller in size in comparison to those which evolved after the oxygen levels in the atmosphere increased to around 15 to 19 percent leading scientists to believe that it was the increased levels of oxygen that let the dinosaurs grow big enough to transform into gigantic monsters. Now back to spider crabs, blessed with the ability to live to over a hundred years old. This leads us to our next factor, safety. Deep in the ocean, life is moving at a slower pace compared to life on land, which is exactly why these spiders don't chase down their prey. Instead, they sit and wait patiently for the prey to cross their path. And honestly speaking, it makes sense, since with almost zero visibility, it's kind of impossible to find prey on a regular basis. Summing up to the last factor, owing to the deep sea gigantism, is the calmness, because down in the water, there's nothing to worry about regarding potential storms or any natural disasters disturbing the deep sea constantly. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.